Hi everyone, I'm Sarah and this is Budget Sew, where we create stylish, fashionable looks as inexpensively as possible. Today I'm going to show you a beautiful craft kit called Mindful Metallic Rocks. This was a lot of fun to use, but if you don't have a kit, then grab some rocks and some acrylic paint and join me for a peaceful craft. Just a quick note before we get started, today I'm wearing Simplicity 4183. The link to the video with this jacket is right here at the top of the screen. I received this Mindful Metallic Rocks craft kit for my birthday. The kit includes a beautiful full color 24 page book on how to paint rocks by Katie Cameron. She guides you step by step through the mindful process of painting eight rock designs providing tips, tricks, and handy hints along the way. The kit also includes a fine paintbrush, a dotting tool, five acrylic paints in colors Stay Golden, Take It Easy Turquoise, Positivity Purple, Serenity Silver, and Kindness is the New Black as well as four large river stones. I laid out some newspaper so I wouldn't get any paint on my desk. I also had a disposable cup with water in it. The stones are all about the same size but vary in shape and smoothness and they're a good size to work with. One of the rocks was quite pockmarked and has the look of the moon's surface. Another rock is quite bumpy, while a third one has long grooves in it, whereas the fourth rock, the largest of them all, is the smoothest. I tried shaking the paint to ensure that it was mixed well, but it didn't move in the container, so instead I tried stirring it with a toothpick. There was no need to stir the paints because they were still well mixed. I chose to paint the largest, smoothest rock first, so I covered it with a base coat of Take It Easy Turquoise. I love this color and the shimmer. It brings a smile to my face. After reading the book, I still wasn't sure where to start, so I thought I'd begin by painting each rock with a solid color. I wasn't sure what my final designs would look like, I only knew that I didn't want any of the original gray of the rock showing. Then I chose the rock with deep grooves and painted it with Positivity Purple as the base coat. This rock was a bit more difficult to paint because it was so wobbly, but it did lay flat on another side. As I painted these rocks, I thought that they would make great pattern weights. I've seen different ways online to make pattern weights such as little triangles with beans or rice on the inside or using washers wrapped in fabric, but I think that these decorated rocks would make the perfect pattern weights. I might take a walk to my parents' house to see if I can find some more rocks to decorate. The little containers of paint in this kit are quite full, so there'll be more than enough to jazz up a few more stones. Then I painted the rough bumpy rock with Serenity Silver. The Mindful Metallic Rocks book says, the best kinds of stones to paint on are smooth and free of cracks or holes. If a stone has a bumpy surface, painting can be problematic and clean line details are difficult to achieve. On top of that, metallic paint can be unforgiving when it comes to an uneven rock surface, revealing or even highlighting any dust, holes, or other imperfections that you may not have noticed beforehand.
The final rock, the one with all the holes, was painted with Kindness is the New Black, since it was a matte black. Then I painted the underside of all the rocks. I had a lot of fun with this craft. It reminds me of when I was a kid and I would take rocks from my parents' driveway and paint them. I remember thinking how pretty they looked. I'm a bit out of practice painting rocks, but it's so relaxing and enjoyable. If you don't have a rock kit, that's okay. Collect your own rocks and use acrylic paints to decorate them. The book says that if you're going to gather your own stones, smooth stones are most commonly found along the shores of oceans and fast moving rivers. If this isn't an option for you, or you want to save time, smooth stones can also be purchased from craft stores. I don't need perfectly smooth stones to enjoy this craft. Any rock will do. When I was a child, I chose rocks that had unique shapes and characteristics. Acrylic craft paint works very well for painting stones. It's non-toxic, fast drying, and adheres well to a stone surface. It's affordable, easy to clean up, and simple to remove from brushes with a little soap and water. I still have plenty of gold acrylic paint that was left over from stenciling the crown pillow. The link to the video with that craft is at the top of the screen. Next, it was time for the really fun part. I decided to decorate my black rock as the night sky. I made sure that the rock was completely dry and used the stay golden paint to draw a big star in the center on one side. The instruction said, drying time can range from five minutes up to 15 minutes or more. This is affected by several factors including how thickly the paint is applied, temperature, and humidity. It can take up to 24 hours for the acrylic paint to cure to the point that it is completely dry and at maximum hardness. It's important not to touch the stone during this time or you risk smudging it or leaving fingerprints. These are especially cumbersome with metallic paint because its gleam attracts attention. I used my paintbrush to dab into the small holes all over the rock to ensure that all the star was gold. Then I used a toothpick with gold paint to try, try to straighten out the edges of the star. This was quite difficult due to all the depressions in the rock, but I like how it turned out. My brilliant golden star shining bright on a dark night. Then I dip the dotting tool into the gold paint to dab some circles onto the rock. It didn't look quite as I expected, so I grabbed the toothpick again with gold paint to dab smaller circles instead. I applied the gold paint to every hole mark on the one side of the rock to make them more of a beautiful feature. I thought that they looked like blinking stars in the distance. Then I dipped my paintbrush back into the paint to dab gold into the larger holes. I wanted my rock to really sparkle. I 
remember, as a child, my mom made a rock mouse. It was a smooth rock that she added paper mouse ears and a tail made from fuzzy trim. That was a treasure for me. I loved it. Next, I grabbed the Serenity Silver paint and painted a heart on my Take It Easy Turquoise rock. I created a theme for my rocks. I was going to paint a different colored heart on each face of the rocks. This reminded me of a long sleeve top that my niece picked out for me at Value Village thrift stores. I loved wearing that top for two reasons. One was because of the design. I thought it was really pretty. And the other was because my niece found it. She said that it was an Aunt Sarah shirt. Then I painted a silver heart on the purple rock. Painting with metallic paints is much the same as with regular paint, but there are a few differences to keep in mind. You may run into your brush strokes showing up visibly on the design, which is due to the shiny mineral pigment that metallic paint is made from. A paint stroke that is made from the left to the right can look different to a paint stroke from the right to the left. So always paint in the same direction to ensure consistency. Then I painted a purple heart on the silver stone. Don't overload the paint on your soft bristle, bristled brush or press down too hard on your brush while painting with metallic paints. Paint your details first, then smooth over them with any future coats. Apply thin coats of paint and reload your brush often. Since I had the purple paint ready, I touched up the paint around the silver heart on the purple rock. Then I painted a purple heart on another face of the turquoise rock. Try to work quickly, if possible, using shorter strokes. Then go back and lightly drag the brush from one end of the rock to the other, always in the same direction. This will smooth out the lines while you paint. Then I painted a different color heart on each face of the rocks. I painted a turquoise heart on the black, purple, and silver rocks, and a black heart on the turquoise and silver rocks. Then I painted a gold heart on the turquoise rock, and I also painted a gold heart on the purple rock. Then I painted a gold heart on the silver rock. The book recommended using protective varnish to preserve your art. Available at craft or hardware stores, it's quick and easy to use and adheres to all parts of the stone easily. I thought about using clear nail polish to seal my rocks, but I changed my mind at the last moment. I was worried that the clear nail polish may smear or react with my metallic paint. Maybe the next time I walk past the hardware store, I'll pop in and ask about the protective varnish. Here are the finished rocks.
hope you enjoyed painting rocks with me. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. I love sharing my new, vintage, and out of print sewing patterns and my tips, tricks, quick fixes, and even my mistakes when sewing along with you. I also love sharing my wonderful fabric finds that I thrifted from charity shops, as well as brand new fabric online and in store. If you'd like to see more from Budget Sew, please subscribe and press the bell to receive a notification when I release a new video. If you'd like to stay up to date with Budget Sew, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Budget Sew. Thanks for watching. See you next time.